Hey everybody, Max Kevin here's Little Cute Podcast, not too long. Oh, well, you know, I've, uh, I've been wanting to make a podcast, uh, you know, uh, last week or so, you know, but uh, I never did. Uh, you know, maybe got a little fat lazy fuck syndrome. Of course, uh, I also got uh, little Zorro over here. Got to take care of Zorro over here. You know, the problem with Zorro is you, uh, you put him in his cage and uh, he just he just never stops barking, you know. So it's like, I can't really... Can't really make a podcast if the dog's barking in the background all the time, you know, and if I if I uh, take him out of the cage, well, he just starts biting everything, you know, he just, uh, you know, starts biting the wires under my desk, starts biting my shoes, starts biting the sofa, you know, starts basically just biting everything. He, he tries to bite the refrigerator, like the front of the refrigerator door, you know, he likes, uh, he likes also to bite the floor, he tries to bite the floor, uh, he tries to dig into the floor, even though it's a floor, and he can't really dig. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, that, uh, it's kind of, that's kind of a hassle, you know, because, like, I can't put him in the cage because he won't stop barking, and I can't let him out of the cage because he won't stop chewing on stuff, you know, so. I need my, I need my, I need my lady friend to watch him, you know, so I can have some, so I can have some me time. I need some me time, all right? I need some time for me. Just me alone by myself so I can beat off, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, he was supposed to, uh, he was supposed to get his balls cut off, uh, the other day there, you know? But uh, a lady friend took him to the doctor there, and uh, I don't know why she told him that he had, you know, he, he was having like uh, diarrhea, you know, or he's been, he's been, his his poop hasn't been so solid recently, you know. I mean, it's not, it's not just like pure liquid; it's just kind of like mushy, you know. And you know, that, it happens sometimes, you know. Sometimes it's mushy, sometimes it's solid. You know, he's a dog, right? You know, so of course, my my lady friend's all worried about that. You know, she's a little she's a little worry ward. She's worried about everything. You know, there. So she, she uh, tells the doctor, "Oh, he's got soft poop." And the doctor's like, "Well, can't cut his balls off." Thanks for paying the uh, the fee for today's appointment, but we're gonna have to delay the surgery. You know, and uh, also next month, I'm totally busy. You're gonna have to wait till next year. Two more months. You know, so uh, he's gonna he's always gonna get to keep his balls two more months. But he's he's probably probably happy about that. You know. The doctor's probably happy about that, too, because they, uh, you know, they collected that, uh, I'm sure they collected some fee, you know, for the appointment, and then, you know, got to reschedule, so they're going to collect more, a little more money, a little more money, oh, he's got a tummy tum, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to, here, just give me some more money, okay, thanks, thanks, yeah, we'll see you next, see you in a couple months, and, uh, bring some more money, be sure to bring some more money next time you come here, you know, anyway, uh, everybody have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone have a... Did you get eat your turkey? Did you eat your stuffing? Did you eat your cranberry? Did you eat your mac and cheese? Did you eat your mashed potatoes? Did you eat your pumpkin pie? Did you eat your cherry pie? Did you eat your apple pie? Did you eat your fat bug pie? Did you eat your, you know, um, of course over in Japan they don't have Thanksgiving, you know, it's an American holiday, uh, so, uh, you know, it's just regular Thursday for me, but then, uh, of course on Friday, me and the lady friend, we went to Costco, you know, I did a little Costco trip, you know, and, uh, and of course, they got those rotisserie chickens. They're eight bucks over here, you know. They were, 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 they're only five bucks over in America. I think they're eight bucks over here. Fucking bullshit, dude. Eight bucks. The pizzas are twenty bucks. How much are the Costco pizzas in America right now? Because uh, over here in Japan, they're twenty bucks, dude. Twenty bucks. Goddamn inflation, dude. Putin's price hikes. Goddamn Putin. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we uh, went to Costco there. I uh, got a pumpkin pie. Pretty good. I love love pumpkin pie. Love that pumpkin pie. Put it in my mouth. Um, yeah, we decided to uh, make some ribs instead of a turkey, you know, because uh, we didn't want to buy a turkey. And uh, I didn't really want to eat a rotisserie chicken. You know? I want some goddamn beef ribs, you know, so we uh, made that. It was pretty good. It was fun. It was nice. We had a nice little Thanksgiving dinner. I made some cranberry sauce. Zorro got to eat some of the beef broth from the ribs he was really happy and then he he took a dump outside yeah yeah Zora likes to eat rocks too he likes to just eat anything i don't know like i i, I figure like dogs aren't they supposed to like smell stuff and eat stuff that's delicious like today he was trying to eat tape he's trying to eat some tape and then he ate some rocks this morning and then he puked again after eating the rocks you know this is like the fifth time he's puked from eating rocks you'd think he'd learn to uh not eat rocks anymore but he's dumb you know anyway uh what else is going on here? Yeah, of course, uh, Tokyo Comedy Board last week, we had a little roast battle, you know, I was one of the judges there. I was one of the judges there, I got, a, I, I, uh, I drank a couple, uh, a couple little drinks, I had, I had like two drinks before I, uh, went there, you know, figure I'd get a little loosen up, you know, because I'm not performing, and I'm just one of the judges, you know, so I might as well just, 
Just get a little loosey goosey, you know. And then uh, I thought it was supposed to start at seven, but then they they p- postponed it till eight, you know. So I'm just like, st- I'm like, all right, well, what am I gonna do for another hour, you know? So I got another drink at the Seven Eleven there, you know. And then uh, I got one more drink at the Seven Eleven. So then I'm, I'm I'm up to four drinks there. And uh, then we get there, and we're, we're judges, and uh, we get two free drinks there, you know. And the uh, you know the bartender. I guess the owner of the club, he made my drink for me, kind of gave me a decent pour there, you know. So I was a little, I was a little, I was a little drinky, drinky, you know. I didn't, I didn't plan on getting that drunk, but I was a little more, I was a lot more drunk than I, than I uh, had intended, you know. Um, anyways, it was fun. It was a fun roast battle. It was, it was good being a judge because I didn't have to prepare anything, you know. I just kind of watched people's sets and kind of riffed and made some jokes, you know, wrote some jokes down on my phone as they were doing their sets. And then, you know, when it came time to judge, I would say my jokes and, uh, I guess most of them, most of them landed, uh, the one that didn't land, one of them didn't land at all, you know, I can't really remember what it was, because I was a little too drunk there, you know, I think, I think that's what the problem was, is like, I was, <laughs> I was a little too drunk, and it didn't come out, like, it was inside my head, you know, the joke's in my, inside my head, and it's fucking killing it inside my head, but then, from the journey inside my head, to outside my mouth, to the, to the audience's ears, like, it, it changed a little bit, or, I don't know, I can't even remember what I said exactly, but, uh, didn't get any laughs at all, and I was like, oopsies, you know, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun there, you know. Judging the roast battle is pretty easy, too, you know. I, I didn't have to prepare anything, didn't have to write any jokes. I just wrote them on the spot there. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm pretty somewhat decent at coming up with uh, jokes on the spot. Especially when I'm a little little tipsy-whipsy, because when I'm tipsy-whipsy, you know, it makes, me, um, it makes me think I'm a lot more funny than I actually am, you know, so... Uh, that's always good, you know. Of course, we had uh, another open mic this week. I went to the open mic uh, twice this week, and um, the second open mic there, there was uh, there was a deaf person in the audience, right? So they uh, Jerry rigged this like TV with like an iPhone or something with the AI, you know, the AI transcription or whatever, you know. So the TV there, so the uh, deaf person could see what we're talking about, and it, it kind of worked, you know. It got some stuff wrong, but it kind of worked a little bit, you know. You know, there was like a two or three second delay there from the time you said something until the si- the time. Uh, it would show up on the screen there, you know, so the deaf person kind of had a delayed, uh, delayed, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Delayed, uh, it was delayed, yeah. And so anyway, I go up there, do my set, you know, uh, do my first two jokes, they're all right, I'm doing my third joke, and as I'm saying my third joke, I'm looking at the audience, and every single person in the audience is looking at the TV, right? No, no one is looking at me, <laughs> and I just stop my set, and I'm just like, all right, hey, everybody, hey. You're not deaf, all right? Don't look at the TV. All right, come on, look at, I'm up here. My tits are up here. All right, look at my, look at my bulbous tits, you know? Anyway, uh, so that was, a, that was, that was fun. A little fun moment there, you know? Every single audience member, none of them, like, I bet every single one of them probably thought that, like, they were the only one looking at the TV, you know? But then, uh, they kind of realized that everyone was, everyone was doing it, you know? So, I kind of good, got a good laugh there, you know? And, uh, what else is interesting, you know, we got this, uh, we got this new comic who's blind, you know, so... Yeah, at that at that open mic, we had a, we had a blind guy and a deaf guy. You know, all we needed was some guy who couldn't talk. You know, that would, that would have uh, made the trifecta there. You know, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil trifecta there. You know, and he heard. Uh... Well, I actually get ready out of here. I'm a, I'm a little sleepy weepy. You know, I'm a little sleepy weepy. You know, I haven't. Uh... I've been waking up uh, every time, you know, my lady friend, she uh, likes to set her alarm for 6.30 in the morning just to get up for Zorro, you know, for the dog there, or to uh, walk him or whatever, you know. And then today she got up at 7.30, even though it's uh, she set her alarm, it's on the weekend. It's like, hey, it's a goddamn weekend, all right, Saturday, don't set your alarm, goddammit. You know, anyway. Uh... So that's pretty annoying, huh? That's pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying. You know what annoys me the most is, uh, you know, when I, I wake up at, like, on the weekdays, when I have to wake up at, like, uh, you know, 6, 6.45, she sets her alarm for uh, six fifteen, and then uh, hits the snooze button twice. You know, so it, like goes off six fifteen, six twenty five, six thirty five, and then my alarm finally goes off at six forty five, and then she gets up at six forty five. Say, God damn, why you just get up at six forty five? Why go? Why you get anything? So anyway, uh, besides that, everything's good. Besides that, everything's good. Everything's pretty good here. You know, I man, I fucking, I think sleep is sleep is like the most important thing. In my entire life, like if I don't sleep well, my whole you know my whole fucking day is ruined. You know, my whole day is ruined. I can't think. I can't do anything. I got to god damn it, god damn god. Why you say your alarm on the weekend? You know. Anyway, um, uh, well. 
I mean, I guess maybe some other stuff happened in the news. I can't even, I don't even know. I don't even know, dude. It's Black Friday. You guys trample anybody at Walmart? You can get a free TV as long as you trample someone to death at Walmart. Did you guys know that? Every three people you trample, you get another free TV. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.